today we are looking at the capgemini results uh, capgemini posted its results on 14th after market hours which is 15 so i didn't get time to discuss that yesterday uh, so here i am uh, analyzing the capgemini results so why capgemini results are important see if you are an investor it investor right you have to understand how the world is moving these results give you an idea beyond indian market because it is a global sector it depends a lot on europe and us that's why it is good to have and watch these have a look and watch these other companies outside india also and interestingly they give us lot of insights we will talk about them but if you are an employee probably it is also very relevant for you because you are seeing a very peak demand cycle and we are witnessing probably uh, the plateau of that demand uh, these days and once this plateau is there we will see some amount of you know a gradual normalization of the demand cycle if that happens and whenever that happens we will have lot of adjustment as an employee so we will have to make lot of adjustments as employees so please follow these updates regularly i try to cover many the many of these names um, i think in a couple of days i'll talk about epam i have not spoken about that company which is a mid size company we will talk about that as you can see the number suggest a huge growth momentum in it sector which is not new for anybody 15.1% year on year growth in constant currency term for these companies make a lot of you know tell you a lot about the demand cycle we have 18 billion dollars as revenue sorry not dollars but euros 18 billion euros as revenues and if you look at the booking cycle uh, year on year growth is about 19 billion euros okay just for comparison uh, we saw a stronger booking in cognizant with cognizant with around 23 billion dollars with 19 billion euros they reach around 21 uh, billion dollars so that means cognizant has been able to get little bit of traction back if we look at the digital and cloud segment it's contributing 65% of the business uh, now for the company and it is a strong double digit growth in this segment so if we look at this 15.1% growth overall that means it is more than 15% we don't know the exact number so the margins are about 13% now let little less than that which is plus 1% higher so it must be around or less than 12% last year so if we look at the earning per share which is 27% higher and the organic cash flow again is well position there so where the growth is coming from if you look at capgemini because it's a french company their base is very strong in european area so you look at here the fr france grows by 10% uk and ireland are growing at 18% or rest of europe is around 17% their growth in america or north america is not that good again asia pacific and latin america about 27% maybe their total base is lower here that's what you see here in terms of which sectors are doing really well manufacturing as i said because it is european ba europe based company lot of europe is manufacturing driven lot of industries are based out of europe so manufacturing is contributing a lot telecom is contributing really well and consumer goods and segment which is again retail 20.8% so all in all these numbers uh, give us very good uh, idea about how the sector is going to perform i am trying to find if we have something else to talk about in terms of uh, for investors but i think it's enough let's let's move let's let's move and see how their employees are faring at the moment so in 
2021 they added about 20 percent of head counts so now they are a 325,000 employees company which is 15,000 plus in the last quarter itself so they are hiring big and some of these numbers i don't think are very relevant but what is important is 18 percent of the staff has got promotion so they are trying to control the attrition by giving people promotion what's important is that they have been showing glassdoor as key performance indicator so uh, please make sure that if you are um, uh, assessing or giving ratings to the company they have to be well thought out please don't be emotional on both sides negative or positive so now outlook how the company will do next year so if we look at here there it's the tricky part company is projecting 8% to 10% revenue growth and if you saw if you saw just now we talked about their growth in the year gone by which was 15.1% and now they are coming down to about 8.8 to 10% uh, in 2022 that gives you a glimpse of the, the normalization of demand so if normally the company is used to grow at 8 to 10 percent and they rapidly grew started growing at 15 20 percent that created a lot of uh, churning in the IT industry in terms of hiring and you know people finding jobs high salaries now that's coming down a bit but we have not seen that panning out in every company at the moment what we have seen some of the names like infosys was really hitting the roofs with 20 percent growth and tcs is about 15 16 percent likewise there are other companies which are growing little above you know 12 13 percent so we will have to see if this is this behavior is you know repetitive uh, or recurring in other companies also so this is the first um, hint that things are getting normalized but again um, as this is an outlook things might change operating margin they are still posting healthy operating margin of about 12.9 to 13.1 percent that means even if the revenue are not growing they don't see any challenge in terms of probably they are not seeing a huge pressure on headcount that's why the operating margin is not under pressure what that indicates is company is hoping that maybe the high um, you know the volatility in terms of employees uh, jumping or switching um, companies is coming or is going to come down in these quarters in initial quarters we have already spoken about the revenues per region and the growth if you have to see in terms of numbers actual numbers you can just please have a look at these numbers here you will get to see that on on your screen likewise the revenue by sectors we have spoken about that uh, which sector is growing well uh, most of the growth in terms of constant currency growth manufacturing for this company capgemini is contributing high consumer goods retail because their base is in europe is doing very well telecom and media that is going really well so that's the mix of how they are earning at the moment now interesting part is on headcount evolution just see that on december 2020 if you look at about one year ago they were about 269,000 employees and today on you know after december quarter uh, they are about 324,000 employees uh, with an attrition rate of 23.5 percent now compared to 12.8 percent in december 2020 so the the attrition has doubled down from their so almost doubled down from their 12 base 12 percent base which speaks about the health of the company and their future projections so maybe they expect that it has already become very high probably things are going to stabilize and we are seeing similar pattern we saw that in cognizant though we have seen a spike in infosys and wipro we will have to see if that normalizes in the next quarter what that indicates is uh, the 2022 outlook looks strong but not as good as 2021 so please set your expectations well uh, in terms of employee engagements we will still see a lot of perks coming employees ways 
that means 2022 is that year where things will stabilize what that indicates is 2023 is going to be uh, quite normal year for it probably we will see the return of 2018-19 period in 2023 i was hoping the demand environment will continue for next two three years but seems like 2023 is the best case scenario what do you think of it if you have benefited from this demand cycle congratulations hopefully things uh, are better even in the future but this is what it is now if you want to track what's happening in the future uh, we will continue tracking this space very closely so you can join us in this journey we together explore this whole world of it and how it unfolds i'll come back in, with another topic very soon for all of you guys Take care.